I want you to look at the item and I want you to give it a rating out of 10. So you've got the microphone there, so you'll basically tell the audience your name, the product you've had, feel free to ad lib and offer a few seconds of very enlightening, uh, uh, humorless or humorful commentary guys and then basically that's the first part of the game. So, don't do that yet, I'll just give you the presents randomly here guys. So, I'll give everyone the 10 items so far. Okay guys, Brandon, kick us off. Now, we want a description of the product, a rating out of 10. Okay, one is junk, 10 is absolutely outstanding. And uh, Jay, we need you to type in the numbers, mate. Go. Okay, I'm Brandon. Um, I have a dollar store guitar. It's for uh, ages three plus. Um, I give this a 10 out of 10. I'm Chris. Uh, I have a vanilla scented candle. It can burn up to 25 hours. So that's pretty cool. It's not worrying about it going out anytime soon. I'd give this a, an 8. My name's Iman. I have a finger game. Ages or more, um, I will give this six. Just off a little bit of detail, guys. No Super Bowl party is complete without this. This is a game. This is an NFL Super Bowl game, guys. It is a Super Bowl game. So, man, you might want to try that on. Okay, keep going. Only right, go there six. Hey, my name's Kyle. Um, I got coconut oil, and it's good for like your body, your hands, elbows, and knees, feet. Good moisture, moisture. Just hold the microphone a little bit closer, mate. What what number do we give it, Kyle? Oh. Just, just lost that number there, mate. Give it a seven. Seven. Uh, I'm Nick. I've uh, got bath soap. It's rose scented and body relaxing. <laughs> You're a natural, Nick. I like that. There's an ad there somewhere, mate. What are you doing that thing? Is this what they call bath salt? Yeah, yeah, bath salt is good, yeah. Um, I will uh, give this a five out of ten. Five? Okay, okay. That might be getting traded too. Rachel? I'm Rachel. I have a mirror. I would give it like a six out of ten. Six out of ten a mirror, okay. Might want to be trying that. Good, Sterling. Um, my name is Sterling. I have a Sudoku puzzle and I would probably give it a four out of ten. Oh, okay. <coughs> my name is Lafacio. I have a notebook carnet. It's basically like a journal. Um, I'd probably give it an eight out of ten. Okay. Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Uh, I have a three-in-one board game with real wood pieces <laughs> for a dollar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's impressive. Dollar Nine out of ten. 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 There you go. Come by afterwards. We'll play chess on that. Uh, my name is William. Uh, I got a sassy chick nail clipper. <laughs> um, like a two out of ten? Two out of ten, okay. You're looking to offload that sometimes. Alrighty guys, so here are the basic rules of the game. If you've given an item a ten, you can't trade it because you can't trade up if you already have ten out of ten. So those of you who don't have a ten, basically what you're going to try to do in this situation, offload what you have to someone who wants it more. Okay, you can't trade down. If you're given something a four, you can't trade for a three. That would be irrational. Okay, now trade is voluntary. So you can only trade something if you find someone who wants it. So the guys who've given them a 10, Brandon and, and uh, Tyler, you guys might want to just sort of hang out here for a little while, guys. The other eight members, basically see what you can trade now. So I'll give you about half a minute, guys. You can trade something on to different people if you want, but can you find a better home for what you have? Alrighty, take it away, guys. Some heavy duty uh, trading going on here, guys. Keep going, guys. Okay, can't get rid of that mirror. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, go back in, in, in order now, guys, from A to Z again. So, I'll just get you to part, guys, just in the middle here, just so we can see the average. Okay, so just uh, move away a little bit. So, what we can see initially, guys, 10 students given random items and we've got 66 out of 100. So basically, each student rates the item on average 6.6 .6 out of 10. That's not bad, but those items were given randomly. They had no choice in what they were given. Now with the ability to trade, we're hoping to see that level of satisfaction rise. And remember, you can only trade something, guys, if the item you receive, you have a higher valuation for. But you must find someone willing to take what you have. So it's all about your valuation. 
but it's got to be higher than your initial one. If you can't find a home for what you've got, then you simply have to keep it. Okay, so what we'll do, guys, uh, basically just uh, introduce your name and then uh, let me know if you traded, if you traded what you exchanged for and then new, new rating out of 10. My name's... Yep. My name's Brandon. Um, I didn't trade. 10 out of 10. Alrighty, Brandon, you're sorted. Christopher. It's Chris. Um, I traded for the notebook. I had the vanilla candle before. And I'd give this a 9. Excellent. It's a little more practical than the candle I can use this for. So. Old school. What well on, Christopher? I, I trade the finger game with the bath salt. 10. 10? Wow, okay. There we go. There we go. 6 to 10. Amounts a lot happening. Kyle. My name is Kyle, and I did trade. Didn't trade. You, I mean, you were thinking about it though. You were trying to drive a hard, hard bug. Okay, you, okay. But you only gave it a seven though. Okay, Nick. Uh, Nick and I traded for the football thing. Six, six out of ten. Okay, just from five to six, a little bit happier. Okay, Rachel. So I'm Rachel, and I couldn't trade, but then I had the realization that the mirror is very like useful when I can use it wherever I go. A bit of ex post rationalization there. These guys were trying to trade, didn't now are talking up their products, but you can look at yourself now, that's important, you've got your mirror anyway. So excellent. Good work, Rachel. So I'm gonna change mine to a seven. Okay, okay. Not sure you're allowed to do that, but we will allow it. Okay, we <laughs> went up from a six to a seven. Uh, if you went down, you would have been off the stage, but you can go up. Okay, Sterling. Sterling. Um, I'm Sterling and I traded my Sudoku puzzle for the nail clippers and I'd probably give them a six out of ten. Okay, Sterling up from four to a six, Apache. My name is Capaccio. I traded the notebook for the candle and I give it a nine. Nine. We have a very happy class here, a very happy group of students at the top. Tyler, 10 out of 10, no chance. Alrighty, I'll, I'll, I'll see you after class with that chest going, Tyler. Okay, final, William. Uh, William, I traded for the Sudoku puzzle. It's less painful out of three. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, William, what did you have initially? Okay, and you gave that a two and you've given it a three. Okay, not a lot of extra satisfaction, but you went up a little bit anyway. Alrighty, good work there, guys. Just part so we can see the numbers here, guys. Okay, so, so what we see, how many people actually traded? Put, it, put up your hand if you traded, guys. Put up your hand if you made a trade. One, two, three. Okay, so five, six people traded and they were better off. Initially, guys, we had 66 out of 100 or 6.6. .6. After trade, six people were able to get an item that they preferred. Okay, so what we see here is that trade created value purely because the people who traded, traded up. So basically went from 6.6 .6 out of 10 to 7.7 .7 out of 10, only through voluntary trades. Okay, so that's the important thing in life. This is why we trade. We trade because we're able to make ourselves happier. Those people who had a 10 didn't trade because they didn't need to. And those people who had something that no one wanted basically couldn't trade. But most students traded. Good work there, guys. A round of applause for the contestants on stage. All righty, guys. Keep your presence, guys. They belong to you. Absolutely, guys. That's it.